You're watching content being created here at the Sci Conference 2015 in London. My name is Lars Sørensen, and I'm having the the fun and also the pleasure of talking to some of our participants, presenters and uh, keynote speakers. Uh, I'm going to talk now for a brief uh, minute with one of our uh, presenters of one of the papers. Uh, so if you like this video, make sure you're checking out all the other videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, like and share this content because we have many more to come. Uh, like this presenter of the paper, Usman Akram from the Aachen University. Uh, welcome. You've been presenting. Um, uh, on uh, uh, the topic of the quality of service from mobile to mobile. So he just gave me an example. For instance, if I would nowadays be using my phone, obviously I don't want it to jam on anything. If I want to mm. share a video, it must be like that. It must be all fast. Mm. And yet um, the operators are, are, are not really optimizing it uh, mm. to the max. Mm. You've wrote a paper on that, did some study on that. Please elaborate on, this, on the subject. So thank you very much. Uh, so our idea is um, at the moment the demand of uh, quality of service uh, is increasing um, dramatically because uh, we have all digital mobile devices, smart tablets and uh, the end user who wants to access any service uh, using the operator network. He needs to have uh, a good quality uh, whenever we try to stream a video or a audio or anything, any multimedia content content so the um, the idea is uh, to facilitate to bring uh, to facilitate the operators Mo operators mean uh, the telecom operators like the orange uh, orange uh, tele to uh, Vodafone, Vodafone yeah and, uh, and encourage them to to pay more attention to the multimedia because it's a uh, multimedia applications they have their own bandwidth requirements so in in our uh, research the in the topic the idea is to pro uh, encourage the operator to do a service differentiation in order to find out what what's the trend of the of the end user which services they are using and based on this uh, service uh, differentiation knowledge they can really implement uh, or en enhance their uh, network so they cannot bring uh, too much of radio resources suddenly, but they can use uh, the previous resources efficiently. So our idea is uh, on the one hand side to do the service differentiation, and after service differentiation, do the user profiling. Would this also, yeah, with the profiling, because you, you, t you told me a little bit about that would actually mean that uh, we get different users with different uh, rights or privileges almost mm -hmm. to the same amount of data. So mm -hmm. if I would be, a gold user and exactly. you're like a, a bronze one and I want to share a video I'm actually using some of your bandwidth mm -hmm. or some of your uh, capaci capacity would it be like this yeah exactly so um, our um, idea is to bring uh, the user in three categories for the evaluation purposes uh, the gold user silver and the bronze and the difference between is pretty clear so the gold user won't get any network delay uh, for example on the Vodafone network sounds mm. good yeah and then Vodafone uh, are we listening this is great yeah. yes <laughs> and for the bronze user he will have um, uh, the reach to the some particular service with some delays all right so and this will also generate the more revenue stream for the operator so that's the idea and it's it's just like it's more efficient right it's communicating also I guess you would have to tell to the bronze mm. user you can have this very cheap mobile mm. uh, a contract but then sometimes you might experience a delay and to yeah. the the business people you want yeah, no delays exactly. at all just be a gold customer and we'll yeah. treat you like a VIP yeah yeah so uh, are, are you you're presenting the paper here you did your research mm -hmm. are you already connected to some of the telecom providers how are they responding to your subject so the idea we present to Deutsche Telekom uh, uh, in 2013 mm -hmm. and it was really appealing but now we have to enhance uh, this a little bit more because uh, you know the technology is growing yes. some more stuff for 5G is coming so our next uh, idea or future work is to connect with the software defined networks to connect um, our platform with that and uh, to really bring it uh, with the smart city because smart city is uh, like really uh, not the new terms it's really in 
So uh, the idea is um, to bring all the sensor devices. It could be a surveillance, it could be a traffic light to connect or integrate with our uh, framework, quality of service framework. And then we distribute this information on the real time, not like uh, it's hosting or on a server. And then everyone is getting the information from there. It's a real time. You can take out your mobile phone, you can uh, uh, make a video and then at the this video you can send or stream to uh, in emergency in a hospital so that you can very assist useful assist yeah. uh, from the doctor for the first aid so there could be many many applications yes but the concept is it's all the communication goes via the operator network if you're listening to this and you're watching this and you're interested then uh, please be sure to contact Osman Akram at the Aachen University. Uh, we, we had a brief talk with him here at the site conference and I wish you a very good conference uh, Thank you yet to much. come. Um, if you're watching this, you're liking this, please check out our other content because we have the full keynotes of our speakers here. We'll have more participants talking and we also do interviews with our keynote talkers. So if you're liking that, make sure to share and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you here next year.